welcome back to the first top five edition. Today we'll be talking about NFL and NCAA quarterbacks. I'll be doing NFL. The man behind the camera, Tashawn, will be doing NCAA uh, quarterbacks. So first on my list is we doing overrated quarterbacks. So first on my list is Tom Brady. Now I understand he's great and all, but he he has he plays under a great system, under a great coach. So all that winning they do is because of that system. He don't get me wrong, he's great, but he's just a little overrated to me. Next on my list is Kirk Cousins. <laughs> All right. He has, a, he just, like, he's on his last year of a three-year, $84 million deal. And to me, he's not, he's like an inconsistent quarterback. He, now, some, don't get me wrong, some games he goes off. Some games he's just like, he can't even pass to open, man. He does, he, vision's off. He's just not making the right passes and the right reads. Like, it's like he can't read the defense. That's why he's number four on my list. Next on my list is Jared Goff. Now, he had a chance in the Super Bowl to get rid of that overrated title, but he just couldn't do it. He threw for, I think it was 222 yards. He, he had a decent game, but he just couldn't get the job done, and that's why he comes in at number three on my list. One. Coming in at number two on my overrated quarterback list is Matthew Stafford. He has a huge deal. And he's been in the league for 10 years, all 10 years with the Lions, and they haven't even won a playoff game under his control. So that's why he's coming in at number two on my list. Number one on my list is Dak Prescott. Ever since that rookie year, he had it. He had a decent little season. I'm not, I'll give it to him. He did good. But this year, the Cowboys are all right, but he is just overrated. He plays for a big team, a big franchise. Nobody, I mean, I'm a Bears fan. Don't come at me, but nobody likes the Cowboys. The Cowboys just get on everybody's nerves. Nobody, they just, nah. -uh. So, I got to put Dak at number one. He's inconsistent to me. He, he's just a bum, honestly. But that's all. That's it. All right. So, for my top five, at, at number five, I got Shea Patterson from Michigan. I just think that being in the Big Ten and doing what he's doing under a former NFL coach in Jim Harbaugh, I feel like – Shea Patterson shouldn't – he's like – he's just overrated. He he plays Ohio State every year, and they get beat. Like, they play these undersized teams, and, like, they do good. But then when they play big time, like Penn State and Ohio State, they just get blew out or they get beat. So I just feel like Shea Patterson, if he gets drafted, when he gets drafted, I feel like he's going to be a third, fourth-round pick because he's just not good enough to play at the next level. At number four, I got Ian Book from Notre Dame. Notre Dame, they're just not – they're not in a conference like they are in basketball. So, Ian Book, I just feel like they they play no talent. Like, in the next two years, they're going to play Clemson, so they're going to get some actual talent. But like I just said from my number five, when they play Shea Patterson from Michigan, that's just no competition. You're playing another overrated quarterback. So, I feel like Ian Book – is just another top overrated quarterback. Like you see what happened when they played Clemson in the in the uh, college football playoff last year. They got blown out be because Ian Book is not that type of quarterback to lead his team to a championship. Number three on my list is Sam Ellinger from Texas. Texas to me, like Sam Ellinger, I just feel like he's inconsistent. One moment he's on, the next moment he's off. And then like last year, they were like I think that the highest they got was like seventh in the college football rankings. But they played Oklahoma, and it went away. Like, that could have been the game to actually put them over the top and put them in the playoff. But since they lost that game, it just took them out. And then when they played them in the Big 12 championship game, they just they didn't compete. They didn't play like they wanted to be in the college football playoff. So Sam Ellinger, to me, just his stats. Like, he has decent stats, but I feel like Sam Ellinger is not the type of quarterback that I would say I would want him playing in the college football playoff if it came to play against Alabama or Clemson. Number two, Trevor Lawrence from Clemson. I know this is not going to be a big fan for me saying this to most of y'all, but 
Trevor Lawrence from Clemson, the only reason he got his shot was because of Kelly Bryant either going down or just wasn't playing consistent or good enough to his ability. Trevor Lawrence got a shot, and he got good with the talent around him. Not because of Dabo Sweeney or nothing like that, because of the talent around him. He had good receivers, but his defense carried him to the top. That's why Alabama was bad against him in the championship. Trevor Lawrence did not like do this by himself. He did not carry the team or none of that. He had help behind him. Like I think that running back at like something like that, he he carried them with that defense behind him and that's what led them all the way to the championship. Number one, the very most overrated quarterback of all time to me is Tua from Alabama. And here's why. Tua is playing in a system where you just can't fail. Alabama has been undefeated or has had one loss every year they have played since Nick Saban has been the head coach. Tua is not a good quarterback. If you put him in any other system, in any other conference or team, Tua would fail. I'm not saying he doesn't have a good arm. He has a good arm. But he would not have that good defense that carries him. He would not have the wide receivers that are five-star catching the ball, carrying him to the top. It's like being on the New England Patriots. You are in a system where you have the most greatest coach of all time. And you know that you, you just can't fail. It doesn't matter. Tua is not a good quarterback. His stats aren't as good as they could possibly be. Tua, yeah, he may get drafted number one. Or he may get drafted in the first round. But when he gets to the NFL, he's going to see he's a hold of the ball game. Unless this man literally gets drafted to the New England Patriots, Tua is going to be a very bad quarterback in the NFL. He's just not good. Jalen Hurts gave him his moment because he, Jalen Hurts did not succeed when he played when they played Georgia in the national championship. So Georgia not being able to prepare for Tua like they did Jalen Hurts is the only reason Tua is a quarterback that he is today. Tua is not going to be good at all. And I'm telling you right now, for all you Alabama fans, do not expect for this quarterback to just go ahead and shine when he gets to the NFL and just put up magical numbers like he is in college. Tua is not a good quarterback. 